Hi everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project. Today we're going to create this beautiful blue dragonfly and we're going to make this dragonfly look more realistic. So we'll learn how to layer our colors and add some value to make that look more real. So for this project today, we're going to need a piece of pa drawing paper is fine, or plain white paper will work also. A pencil and an eraser. And three colored pencils. All you need is a black one, a light blue, and a regular blue. So definitely two different shades of blue, one being a little darker and one being a little lighter. That would be great. And then a have a pencil sharpener handy. Um, as you're coloring, you may need to sharpen your colored pencils. So let's go ahead and get started on this fun blue dragonfly. So we're going to start by drawing our dragonfly first, and then we'll be adding the color. So I like to do my paper in landscape direction or long ways. Um, that way the dragonfly fits across my paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if we do them this way, we run out of room for his long wings. So we're going to do it landscape direction. So near the top of my paper, I'm going to create his body. If you notice, he's got this really long tail. And so we need to make sure we, we save plenty of room for that. So we're going to do his body. So I start with the body first. So kind of right in the middle of my paper, I'm going to make a kind of a square shape with rounded edges. And I can adjust them later. And then there's two little curved lines. It's kind of like his little neck. And then his head, it's a curved line, like a smile shape there. And then the top is almost looks like um, the opposite shape. So it looks like the same shape, just the opposite direction. And then two ovals right here will be his kind of where his eyes are. And then he has two little tiny antennas there, just little, little tiny ones. All right, and then we're gonna draw his tail. So once we draw the body here, we can actually shape it just a little bit more. We want to take off just a little bit of that corner of this, of that square. Just make it a little more round. And we're going to do that the same with the bottom part here. Just make it a little bit less square. And now we're going to draw the long tail from the bottom of his body. So we're just going to draw a long straight line. And then, when we, and then we're going to draw another one parallel to that line next to it. And then when we get to the end, I kind of round it just a little bit. And he has a little tail there. And it looks like two little, almost looks like little pincher, pincher tail. So you can make that out the end of his tail there. And I do add some little lines on this tail. This is a little bit of texture in his. There we go. And now we're going to add his wings and then we'll create some legs. Well, actually, let's do his legs first. Then let's do the wings the very last. So he has four legs that I see. Um, so this is one I used a reference photo for the blue dragonfly. There's all different kinds of dragonflies. And this one I thought was really pretty to do the beautiful blue color. So I'm using, I use that as my reference. So the leg, the first leg kind of comes out near his, where his neck is. And I just make a line out and then I uh, make an angled line and then a little foot. And I do the same thing on this side. Angled line and a little foot. So it's just like a big angled line. They're just different sizes. So those are all lines. We'll add some texture to them later. The second leg comes out this direction. And then 
bend it. And then make his little foot. You could make his foot. Yeah, I think I'll make it that direction. And then do the same thing on this side. All right. So um, now we can add his wings. And the wings actually come out the middle of his body here. So right there in the middle center of his body, I'm just going to make a little line where I'm going to make his wings come out of. So the first wing, I'm just going to draw kind of a straight line out. I'm going to slightly curve it up. Curve around, down a little bit, and then curve it back in to the line. And then I can erase everything that's inside that wing because it's overlapping the leg. So the same thing, what I created on one side, I want to create on the other side. So I'm going to just do a line out, kind of go up just a little bit curve around, kind of a downward direction, kind of at an angle, a diagonal, then curve it back around to the center of the back here. It's where all the wings come out of the back. And then I'm gonna erase everything inside this wing. This is overlapping. And then he has a second wing. The second wing starts near the same place. I'm just going to follow that line, but then I'm going to separate it a little bit. I'm not going to follow it all the way to the end. So I'm going to start at the same place and then um, do it pair like right next to that other line, almost like a I'm tracing it. And then it becomes a parallel line. And this time I'm going to go down a little bit and curve my wing around and then curve it back up to the back. And so I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I want to do copy my line, then it becomes a parallel line. And then I'm going to curve it down just like I did on the other one. And curve, go back up to where I started. And then I'm going to erase everything inside that wing. All right. So now these legs, you're only going to see part of them because they're underneath the wing, which is okay. Um, all right. And see, he might even have another leg that's hidden behind the wing too, because I'm pretty sure they have six, but I have to look that up to make sure. So once you have that drawn on your paper, we're going to use our colored pencils now. And I'm going to start with my lightest blue. I'm going to color everything this lighter blue that I picked. The only thing I'm not going to color in, I'm not going to do anything with the legs, and I'm not going to color in his eyes there. I'm going to leave those um, empty so or leave those white for now. And you'll see why later. But everything else, I'm going to layer my pencils. So I'm going to use um, this lighter blue first on everything else. And you'll see when we get done why we're doing that. Now, um, you don't have to use real heavy pressure when you're coloring. You just want to do normal pressure on your pencil. So you get just a nice layer of blue. Now you can stop at those lines. I can still kind of see them through my blues. Um, if they get covered up, you could just add them back in later. I can kind of see them through my blue, so I'm, I'm okay to add them later or to go over them again later. But we want to get everything with this base blue color. And you don't have to color his tail. We'll do that black later. All right, and then I'm going to do his wings. So I'll color in his wings. And I'm going in the direction that I drew my lines. I'm not going to go up this way, uh, up and down. I'm going to go, um, that's why I turned my paper to make it easier to color. Um, when you're doing something and you want it to look more real, you definitely need to color in the direction that you drew your lines. And it's going to add to the um, 
realistic look rather than having it opposite of what you drew lines going the opposite direction I definitely don't want that it's a good rule whenever you're coloring with crayons or markers to follow the direction of the lines that are there and then if it's a landscape you'll want to go horizontally if you're coloring the sky so across the paper long ways rather than up and down there we go and then the color the other side i'm gonna flip my paper the other way Now along the edge, you can go right along that line there, kind of creating that edge. We'll be adding more colored pencil to that later. One more wing. We'll have our base color in. So what we're gonna end up doing is layering our colors and that's gonna help it look more real. I do this when I'm painting, I layer my paints start out with a lighter and keep layering on helps add some dimension and realistic look all right now that we're done with our light blue we won't need the light blue again so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our darker blue so what i'm going to do is add on half of his head oops i think i'm going to have to sharpen this or get a different dark blue. Yeah, I let it soft and so it keeps breaking on me. Hold on, let me get this sharpened. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. So the second, the bottom half of the head, I'm gonna color, I'm gonna leave light blue on the top. I want that to show up light blue, but we're going to do that darker. I'm going to color the neck darker blue. It's kind of a little shadow there. And then the edges of the body. Now I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave light blue along the very top of the back, kind of like where the, the um, light would be hitting it. And I'm following the shape of the body and a little bit of shadow under the wings there. So I might have a little shadow there where the wings are. There, so you wanna leave that little bit of light showing. And then I'm gonna follow just the edges of my tail. I wanna make those edges a little darker because the middle of the tail is light where the light is hitting it. So I'm only gonna trace the edges of my tail with the darker blue and then the lines that are on my tail I can go ahead and add some darker blue to those little sections of his tail there all right that's our second layer now on the wings I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to add some darker so I'm going to start here where there's a little bit darker blue, just kind of color over my lighter blue. Now I'm not going to do the whole wing. I'm only going to do parts of the wing. So I'm going to kind of do underneath a little bit and on the top and right from the back. And then I'm going to kind of, so when you're coloring layering, so I started heavy, a little bit heavier pressure. And as I got out farther into my wing, I just, use lighter and lighter pressure on my pencil and look what happens it blends nicely and so i don't get a i don't have a light blue line and a dark blue line it kind of blends right in there and i only did that by using really light pressure and it just kind of blends right into that light blue heavier pressure will give you a darker color so the ends of their wings are kind of black so i want to start creating that darker look so I'm gonna um, 
I think I'm going to come from this direction because I want it to be facing down a little bit. So I'm going to just go ahead and fill the end of this wing in with my darker blue. Just the end. Kind of then use light pressure to blend it into that light blue. So you still have some light blue showing there. And then they have some texture on their wings. So I'm going to create a line here with my dark blue. It goes there and then I'm going to create some lines going down. Kind of put some space between them. Kind of like little veins in their wing a little bit. Okay. Make that one a little bit thicker probably. There we go. And we're going to do that to the other wing too. Um, we'll do the same thing to the wing below it. We're gonna add, we're gonna do dark blue, especially along the top here. Keep my dark, heavier pressure on my pencil. With my pencil. And then I'm gonna get lighter pressure so it blends right into that light blue okay and then i'm just going to do a little bit along the bottom and then i want to create some texture on my wing this wing though i just have some lines going down so i kind of do them a little bit at an angle here just to create a little bit of line there there and what I did on this side, I'm going to do to the other side. So I want to go ahead and start with my top one and do that same technique. So use a little heavier pressure with my blue. Color along the top. A little bit along the bottom. And the end of my wing. And then I'm going to start using light pressure so it blends into my lighter blue. And then I'm going to make my line across the top of my wing. Just a little bit of heavier pressure so it shows up. And then I'm going to create um, those, that texture so those like veins in the wings. There we go. There. This will be darker. So we still have that lighter blue and then we have some darker blue on our. And then we're going to do the bottom wing the same way. So I'm going to add my darker blue with heavy pressure. And then the end of my wing. Here I'm going to do the bottom here. Fill in the end of my wing. And then I'm going to use light pressure so that it blends into my blue. So I don't have a, I don't want a line of dark blue. I want it to kind of blend into my light blue rather than being a heavy line there. All right. And then I'm going to create the texture. Oops, I forgot to do it here, here. I'm going to use light pressure to blend that into my light blue. And then I'm going to add some texture to my wings there. There we go. <laughs> With some lines. And then the last color we're going to use is black. So we're going to start at the head. And on usually the antennas, I color those black. And then on the eyes, I color those black, but I leave a little white circle kind of towards the front, and that's going to show some reflection. So it's only going to be partially black. See how I left a little bit of that white uh, there? And then I color the bottom part of the head where I put the dark blue. I color some black over that. I leave a little bit of the dark blue showing. Um, and then on the neck, I add some lines on the side here. So I have a little bit of blue showing on the neck, but the sides are dark. 
And the same with the body. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add a little bit of black. I start with a heavy pressure and then I just get lighter pressure to blend it into that dark blue. Kind of like we did with the dark blue on top of the lighter blue. You start with a heavier pressure and then you just get lighter pressure on your pencil and it'll blend right into that. So I'm going to add a little bit of shadow there under the wings and then use real light pressure to blend that into the blue. So now you've got a great, you've got some great value there. You have some really dark black, a little bit of dark blue, and then you have that real light blue showing. So I'm going to do the same with the tail. I'm going to trace over a little bit with a can stop here and fill in that little tail here with black. There we go. And the same on the other side. And I add just a little bit of black underneath the right by that underneath that blue line. So I can still see some of my blue. It just darkens it up a little bit. It gives it a little bit of little more texture there okay now his legs his legs are kind of fun because what I do is I follow that line that I created was just I scribble so it makes it look like he has a little bit fuzzy legs as some texture so I'm just going to scribble my pencil using a little bit heavy pressure scribble it so it looks like a fuzzy leg rather than a smooth leg and I don't want to make them very thick I'm going to just scribble my pencil tiny little lines right next to each other. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with his back legs. Only the parts that I can see. Because they're hidden. There we go. So that's very fun there. All right, and then on his wings, we're gonna add some black over that blue. So where they connect there, I'm adding some black along the top. A little heavier pressure on the very edge and over that light blue and along the top of those, those lines I made. I'm not covering them exactly with black. I'm doing it right kind of right above it. And then I'm gonna add some black lighter pressure on there. And then um, do the underside here. Now, when you blend it, you remember you do heavier pressure and then you do lighter and lighter pressure. So it kind of blends into the blue a little bit. And then I'm gonna just add a little bit of black to the lines that I made just to give it a little more show up a little better and then the ends of their wings are actually a little bit black so I'm just using normal pressure to cover to color over that blue I'm not using very heavy pressure with that one and then I'm just going to gradually go lighter and lighter till it kind of just blends into my blue there we go and then I don't get a line of black because I use really light pressure to kind of blend that in. All right, I'm going to do the same with the bottom wing. Go over. I'm only adding black where I added dark blue, not where I added the light blue. Lighter and then put some black under here. And I'm going to fill in the end of the wing with a little bit of black, just regular pressure. All right. And then lighter and lighter until it blends into my blue. There we go. So what we did on this side, we're going to do on the other side. Look at the difference. Look at how adding those values just makes it stand out and look so cool. All right, we're gonna add, we're gonna do the same thing to the wing over here. All 
Remember light pressure to blend it into the blue. And I'm going to fill in this end of this wing with just regular pressure on my pencil. And then do some a little bit of black along the lines that I created. And then uh, light pressure to blend it into my blue. There we go. A little bit of black along the bottom and then along my lines there. And then my bottom wing, I'm going to do the same way. Lighter pressure to blend it into my blue. And then fill in the end of my wing. lighter pressure to blend that in and then I'm gonna add a little bit of black to my veins there just to make them stand out a little bit all right looking great one last step and we'll be finished so what you want to do is you want to take your eraser and we're gonna create just a little bit more light areas to the lightest part of our blue not we don't want to do that on the black or the dark blue but just that lightest part of the blue so we're gonna do a little bit on the back here where that lightest blue is and then along the tail and you can you, your eraser will get a little blue on it but you can just find a new corner if you need to so you're just going to erase that slightly or add, I call it adding lines with our eraser. And it lightens, lightens it up just a hint. Kind of blends it a little bit too. All right, we are almost finished with our beautiful blue dragonflies. So we're going to add the light lines here or with our eraser just in that light blue area there we go and then on this side sometimes you have to do it a little bit couple times there all right we are almost done there we go we made some a little bit of lighter areas on our dragonflies so we have some really light areas and some really dark areas and he looks fantastic now, if you want to add some background and draw him on a leaf or whatever, that is totally up to you. You could definitely be creative with that and add that to your um, dragonfly drawing. So thank you for joining.